When I was like in third grade or something, I remember going into uh, speech therapy to see a speech therapist. So maybe I still need some speech therapy because I kind of listen to myself on these videos and I kind of have like a, a little speech thing going on there. I need to work on my speech. So if you think I need to work on it, just let me know, okay? Like text me or private message me, like contact me through Facebook or something like that. I would totally appreciate it. Love to hear your comments, your concerns, your observations, and your questions. Anything you got. I love it. I would love it. I would love it. Here's Parody, and here's I, Esmeralda Ortiz. And um, let's get going to Proverbs 6. This, this talks about warnings against folly. It says, my son, I also say, my daughter, from the Lord God, I speak for him. If you have put up security for your neighbor, if you have struck hands and pledged for another, if you have been trapped by, by what you said, if you have been trapped, remember, ensnared by the words of your mouth, then do this, my son and daughter, to free yourself, since you have fallen into your neighbor's hands. Go and humble yourself. Press your plea with your neighbor. Allow no sleep to your eyes, no slumber to your eyelids. Free yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter, like a bird from the snare of the fowler. Go to the ants, you sluggard, consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, no overseer or ruler, yet it stores its provisions in summer and gathers its food at harvest. How long will you lie there, you sluggard? When will you get up from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. And poverty will come on you like a bandit, and scarcity like an armed man. A scoundrel and villain who goes about with corrupt mouth, who winks with his eye, signals with his feet, and motions with his fingers. Who plots evil with deceit in his heart. He always stirs up dissension or she. Therefore, disaster will overtake him or her. In an instant, he or she will suddenly be destroyed without remedy. There are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked schemes, feet that are quick to rush into evil, a false witness who pours out lies, and a man who stirs up dissension among brothers. Keep the peace. Work things out. Warning against adultery. My son, my daughter, keep your father's commands. Do not forsake your mother's teaching. Bind them upon your heart forever. Fast them, fast them, fasten them around your neck. When you walk, they will guide you. When you sleep, they will watch over you. When you awake, they will speak to you. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. The teachings. If you remember the teachings, they will guide you, okay? When you sleep, they will watch over you. When you awake, they will speak to you. You ever feel like there's something in here just speaking to you in your gut, and your heart, and your chest? It's telling you, hey, you should have done, you should have not done that. Or you should do this in a good way. It's like a good sense or a bad sense. It's always warning you. Well, guess what? It's guiding you. Wisdom guides you throughout your day. So continually seek it. I hope that you will. It's amazing. Yes. Steady and unchanging. Okay. So, um, this is what it says, okay? Verse 23. For these commands are a lamp. This teaching is a light. And the corrections of discipline are the way of life. Do you want life or do you want death? Keeping you from the immoral woman, those for those men, those women also, might as well get your stuff right. Okay, from the smooth tongue of the wayward wife, do not lessen your heart after her beauty, or let her capti captivate, captivate you with her eyes. For the prostitute reduces you to a loaf of bread, and the adulteress preys upon your very life. 
Can a man scoop a fire into his lap without his clothes being burned? Can a man walk on hot coals without his feet being scorched? So is he who sleeps with another man's wife. No one who touches her will go unpunished. Men do not despise the thief if he steals to satisfy his hunger when he is starving. Yet if he is caught, he must pay sevenfold, though it cost him all the wealth of his house. <laughs> but a man who commits adultery lacks judgment. Whoever does so destroys himself. Blows and disgrace are his lot, and his shame will never be wiped away. For jealousy arouses a husband's fury, and he will show no mercy when he takes revenge. And that goes for you ladies also. The woman will show no mercy when she takes revenge. But I say, let the Lord be the avenger, not you. He or she will not accept any compensation. He or she will refuse the bribe, however great it is. And that is it. Proverbs 6. Get in the word. If you can't get into it, play a video. Listen to it while you get ready before you go. It's always good to read something every day. To read, listen, and do wonderful things. Remember, see no, he see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Speak life, life, always life. Positive words all the time. Bring goodness to your heart, to your life today, every day, forever. Have a beautiful day. See you next time for Proverbs 7. Blessings. And shalom, shalom, shalom. Peace. And